good morning from Istanbul. Today we are going to the Basilica Cisterns. They open at 9 o'clock. It's about 8.45. We are walking there now. Hopefully we'll get there before all the tourists, but it looks really neat and we're looking forward to showing you. We definitely didn't beat the tourists. So, we didn't beat the crowds. On guided tours, we get to skip the line. It's uh, for two people, it's $106. Hopefully this works out. Well, I think Josh already did some of the explanation, but I'll give it to you. We intended to wake up and go to the Basilica Cistern and got there about 15 minutes after it opened, which was a little bit behind schedule anyway, and there was already like 400 people in line. And then we popped over to Hagia Sophia and also about a thousand people in line. So I hopped back online and got the Istanbul welcome card, which I read about online and it seemed really promising, but I wasn't going to purchase it because I thought that we could kind of do it solo, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it's worth it. Simit with Nutella and a bottle of water. And it was 15 lira for this, which is like, how much? Probably like a dollar? 15 less than, less than a dollar. It's like 75 cents. And this was four lira, so it's like, like 20 cents. Yeah. Turkey. My prices. 
Not much to look at, but this is part of the original Roman viaduct. That is too. And the cisterns are right there. Hey. They've also included a bunch of art installations throughout, which I think is super cool and a neat way to feature, you know, local Turkish artists. They believe they were built in about the fourth century and utilized widely because Istanbul as you know, being by a river has a natural water source, but in terms of irrigation and getting, uh, you know, water into the communities, built cisterns all over the city. This is one of about 150 that they have discovered, um, you know, in modern times. They were forgotten about and honestly kind of destroyed during the Ottoman Empire. Um, the Ottomans did not take care of them. And uh, there are tales of them discarding bodies down here. So that's lovely. After the fall of the Ottoman Empire, these were largely forgotten about until they were rediscovered again in 1540 and some change. Uh, a French explorer here was being told by a local townsperson how he could catch fish uh, through a hole in his basement. And so this French explorer went looking and discovered uh, this set of cisterns underneath the city. attraction here. It's like way in the back corner so you have to walk through the Ooh, yes, spooky red lights. You have to walk through the entire cistern to see it. Um, the red lights are on now. It's very creepy in here, but very cool at the same time. Uh, one of the things that our guide was telling us is that all the columns were pilfered from other Hey, there's no red lights. Uh, the columns were pilfered from other temples, so they're all different. Uh, you'll see some that are very old, and some that are very simple, and some that are just two pieces, three pieces, it's weird. Very cool. Probably. <laughs> Hello. 
Okay, it's like pure raining in here. <laughs> I think it was totally worth it. There's way too many freaking people in here, yeah. but super cool and worth a visit. It's only been open for two months, so that's probably why. Great. But either way, yeah. Try and get here. We got here at like 9, 10, right after they opened, and the line already had like probably 200 people in it. So we came in the afternoon, and I don't know. There's no right time of day to come. It's always busy. Yep. It's Monday. And now we are half wet and late for our next tour. Oh, it's freaking hot. It's like scalding hot. I think it's it's like if black lava were actually ramen noodles with cheese. 